Hey everybody, Tall Family Films here. I have teed up all of these bolts on this motor mount to show you how we get down to the variable valve timing solenoid. This is on an Acura RDX. This is on a lot of Hondas and Acuras though. It's a cause of an oil leak. If the thing stops functioning, then oil can start coming out around the seal. So now we get a much clearer view of it. So here it is. Notice that orange stripe on the valve cover. We're going to change the angle here in just a second and, and when you'll be able to see where we are based on that orange stripe that's on that's uh, sealing the valve cover down. That was in another video. All right, so uh, let's take another look. Here we are looking straight down on it. You see the bolt that's missing. There's a bolt that's in there, but there's a bolt that's missing. That's the bolt that we would remove to take the variable valve timing solenoid out. Here's what it looks like. So we're only seeing the top half of it in that video. If you wanted to test yours, you could attach the terminals of your battery using some wires to where these two arrows are pointing to. And the bottom of it will click open and closed. And if it doesn't click open and click close, then you know you've got a problem with your uh, variable valve timing solenoid. So I hope this video has helped you. If it did, you could help others by liking the video so that they will find it easier when they are searching. And if you subscribe to my channel, that will certainly help me a lot. Thanks a lot.